Hello everyone and welcome to another home vlog. It's not necessarily all going to be at home but by home I mean I am back in the country. The last couple of vlogs have been things that I was doing in Orlando. I'm going to be doing that a little bit more on this channel whenever I go to another country, when I'm in Florida, when I'm somewhere else. There will be some videos that are on specific things, restaurants, different places that I'm trying, things like that, like individual videos on certain things rather than just regular kind of vlogs if that makes sense. So I hope you've been enjoying those and I just want to start by saying thank you to HelloFresh who have sponsored this vlog. I'm going to be cooking some dinner this evening. You guys know I love HelloFresh. I've mentioned them before, I've worked with them before, I have boxes from them every week and I'm going to be doing some cooking in a bit so I'll talk to you more about that when I go to make the dinner. It's been very busy since I got back from Florida. I've been editing the vlogs for this channel, I've been editing the Disney vlogs, I've had a podcast to do, I've had like lots of emails and things to catch up on. My laptop broke while I was in Florida. If you've watched the vlog you will know that that happened because I talked about it on there. It was so random and annoying that it happened right when we got there so I was without a laptop the whole time which really kind of messed up some work that I wanted to do while I was there so I was a little bit panicked about how much I was going to have to do when I got back. Luckily I was able to kind of order the new laptop and have it here when I arrived home so I could get straight on to the editing. I'll show you the new laptop when I get upstairs. It's really nice actually. I could have done without having to buy a new one it was a little bit annoying and unexpected but I have had that one since 2017 so it was quite old you know things like that don't last forever so it's fine I've got the new one now anyway so I'm back underway with work stuff I've got other travel that I'm planning I've been booking a trip to Italy you might have seen that over on Instagram me mentioning that so that's coming up really soon I've got another trip that I'm doing in April and in May I'm back in Florida again and I've been making dining reservations for that planning my days I've got two Two different travel buddies coming with me um one of them for part of it and one of them for the other so there's been loads going on it has been a busy busy time kind of booking and planning and organizing editing everything else i'm back now back on track and back doing a few home vlogs but there will be lots more travel coming up as well and something i haven't shown you yet here is the new macbook so you may have seen in my disney vlog the saga of the broken laptop when i got to florida here is the new one and my little screensaver which is cute some of the photos from my recent trip and i went for a macbook Air again. This is the 2022, so they've just released a new one, 2024, I think, and this is the 2022 version. So it was the latest one, but they've just released another one. This color is actually called Starlight. It's a really nice, like, champagne color. If I put my mouse next to it, you see that's like silver. That's the color I used to have. This one is a really nice color called Starlight. You do have to have one of these little things because it doesn't have a regular USB port. It's got like the small, is it called USB C? Whatever it's called. So you need this for your memory cards and um, USB ports and stuff. This was really cheap on Amazon. And uh, yeah, I really like it. Really, really enjoying using this. And it's got like the touch ID instead of having to put a password in every time you just put your finger on this button. And you also do that when you're making purchases with like Apple Pay and stuff. So yeah, it's really nice. I'm loving it. It's a shame I had to get a new one. That wasn't something I was planning on, but you know, you can't plan these things. Hey, okay, I'm in the kitchen now and it's time to get cooking. You guys are in the cupboard. So I hope the lighting and everything's okay there. I think it is. And tonight I'm gonna be making pan fried halloumi and pesto drizzle. So here is the recipe card that I'm going to be using. My HelloFresh box turned up yesterday and the good thing about HelloFresh when it arrives all of the recipes are in individual bags. The fresh ingredients are kept cold so you can just take those out and put them into the specific bags and then I just put the bags in the fridge and then when I want to make one of my meals I just grab it out of the fridge and it's ready to go. So it's super easy. All the recipe cards are in the top so you can take a look at them and see what you're going to be making. All the instructions are step by step so if you don't love cooking or you feel like you're not very good at it or if it's something new that you've not made before everything is completely step by step with pictures as well there are a few items very occasionally that you need that they call pantry items just things like oil and eggs and stuff like that so just check your recipe cards to make sure that you have the pantry items if there are any and for this one i need the oven on first so let's go do that i've got my chopping board 
Okay, first up, I am chopping my potatoes into chunks. So let's do that, that's nice and easy. And speaking of, one of the things I love most about HelloFresh is how easy it is. Kate and I both have busy, busy lives. We have a box every single week, and it's just so easy at the end of the day to go to the fridge, grab the bag. You don't have to think about what you're making because you can pre-decide all of your recipes in the app. Or you can do it on the website if you prefer, but you choose your recipes every week. They've got lots to choose from, like vegetarian options. They have ones that are very family friendly if you're watching calories and stuff all sorts of different ones but you pre-choose them you can just go to the fridge grab it and make it so that's the thing I like the most is just how easy it is and I don't even have to think about it and you might have heard me mention in my recent Florida vlog I have been trying to be a lot more healthy since the beginning of the year and with HelloFresh the other thing I really like is that everything you're making is from scratch some of the recipes might have like chips or wedges or something but you're making those from scratch yourself it's all fresh ingredients and and it's not like processed foods and that is another really good thing with me being on a bit of a health kick i'm finding it a lot healthier and a lot easier which is what i really like potatoes are chopped so they're now going to go onto the baking tray then i've got my onion chopped that's going to go on the baking tray with the potatoes and some herbs and go into the oven then i've got the courgette and tomatoes that's going to be added in to the oven shortly to roast with the potato and onion okay that's all in the oven and then i just need to fry the halloumi which i will show you in a second i just wanted to let you know that HelloFresh have given me a discount code for you guys to get 60% off your first box, 20% off for the next two months, plus free gifts. 60% off is a great offer for your first box, and you can skip a week if you're going away or you don't want a box on certain weeks. There's no minimum term or anything like that. So it's a great way to try it out for the first time. 60% off is really, really good. And there'll be a QR code here on the screen for you to click, or if you're watching on your phone, you can follow the link that will be in the description of the video, or you can just use code Victoria24. We'd definitely give it a go. I absolutely love it. Kate and I are regular customers every week. And like I said, with the convenience, getting more variety, you don't have to think about what you're doing. It's just nice and easy we absolutely love it and now I'm just frying the halloumi roughly three minutes on each side I'm all done so let's compare to the recipe card this is what it's supposed to be looking like and this is the finished dish I think I did pretty good there smells really really nice and this is a really really healthy one so I like that I have been trying to be more healthy recently like I was saying that is really good and my description of how that tastes would be fresh, which is very appropriate considering. It tastes really good and it's something that I wouldn't have thought to make. I do like halloumi, but I never really think to get it or make it. So again, that's one of the reasons I love this. It just means I try things that I wouldn't normally. So it's the next day now and I'm just getting myself ready. I've just done my makeup and about to do my hair. And I thought I would go through with you how I do my hair with this wavy look. I get questions about it every day over on my Disney in Detail channel, Instagram here, and on my Victoria in Detail Instagram, I always get someone asking about it, um, this particular look that I have. So I'm gonna show you what I use and kind of how I do it, because I know a lot of you have been wanting to know, and I said I would do like a little tutorial on it. Now, as you can see, it is already still like this. So with my hair, once I've done it like this, it will last me about four or five days. I do have to do a little touch up every day, which is what I'm gonna do, but I will talk you through how I kind of do the overall thing. Um, but once it's done, I put it up at night um, on top of my head in a scrunchie. So I put it like right on the top, just in like a messy bun. And then when I'm sleeping, it's just really the underneath that is touching the pillow and my hair is like on top. So I've taken this down out of the scrunchie this morning and this is what it still looks like. So I don't really need to redo all the underneath and the bottom, my own hair, because I do have extensions. I'm sure most of you know that. Um, but if you're new here, you may not. So I do have extensions and it stays in the extensions very, very well if you put it up on top of your head. But my own hair does flatten a little bit. It actually hasn't that badly last night. It's stayed in pretty much. But just like this section, the top, I redo every day. And in terms of where I part my hair, I have changed that recently since I've started doing this look. And I have it like quite a deep side parting. I actually naturally have like a, I always forget what it's called, a cow's lick, whatever it is, like a thing here. So it actually goes across very naturally for me this way and then you get quite a lot of volume in this section on the top so i actually quite like how this looks it looks a bit crazy at the moment because like i say i have slept on it and just taken it out of the scrunchie so i'll talk about how i actually do it in a second but i wanted to show you what i use and it is this 
this is the waving iron from beauty works they have a couple of different sizes this is the smaller one i do also have the bigger one so it's like a bigger barrel and you will get like looser waves i prefer this smaller one it gives this kind of look obviously if you have the bigger waves then it just doesn't look quite as voluminous and big in my experience so i prefer this smaller one it does have a temperature indicator on it i have mine at 180 i don't ever do it any higher than that because you don't want your hair having too much heat on it i usually use the beauty works 10 in 1 spray after i've washed it at the moment i've been using this palmer's one with a separate heat protectant spray but i like the 10 in 1 from beauty works because that has heat protectant in it i've just run out at the moment um, so I use that. My extensions are Beauty Works as well. That's where I get them. And this shade is called Ice Blonde. Kate has just started vacuuming upstairs, so hopefully you can't hear that too loud. Uh, so yeah, the extensions are Beauty Works. So I use the 10-in-1 spray and I use this waving iron. I will link this below. It's a really, really good one. And the crucial thing for me is that it does work in the US perfectly. It's dual voltage. A lot of curling irons don't work when you go to the States or they don't heat up properly, but this one does. So it always works for me everywhere I go. I really, really like it. So normally when you'd be doing this you'd be starting with a completely straight hair and I'm going to show you how to do it either way so obviously mine already has some wave in it but it doesn't matter you could be starting from straight and what I basically do first of all you might have like a part either in the middle or a little bit further over I would recommend a side part for this I'm not sure I like it as much when it's a middle part but that is entirely just your preference so wherever your part is I always take a section of hair probably about that much i'm just going to readjust the camera up a little bit because we're working a bit higher up now so i take that top section and always give it a little spray with some dry shampoo because like i say my hair will go like five days without needing to be washed and especially if i do it like this so i just put a bit of dry shampoo on kind of rub that in a little bit the good thing with having hair as blonde as mine is that dry shampoo doesn't show really so that's quite good i just give it a little back comb nothing too major but it just gives it a little bit of volume then spray with a bit of hairspray just at the root i always do this and put it over the top of the hairspray can just helps give it a little bit of lift and then place it over to that side because we're going to deal with that last so you kind of look a bit crazy look like this while you're doing your hair and then I do the same with this next section and then that will kind of take it down to my um, extensions so you can start to see the extensions are underneath but this is my real hair here so just give that a brush a little dry shampoo then just a little bit of teasing there nothing major but it just gives it a bit more grip and a bit more texture a little spray and then flip that over as well so we're going to deal with the top so if you had your hair straight and you were starting from scratch you would now have your top layers kind of over this side and then you would have all of your straight hair ready to do your waving and i will do one of these pieces just to kind of show you if you were starting from the bottom and i've got another product that i sometimes use i will talk about that when i get to the top here so let's just say you were going from straight hair I will start at the front, make sure the piece of hair that you're waving is um, brushed out as well, you don't want any tangles or anything in there. So I'm going to get a bit closer. So you're going to take your curling iron and you want it like this so that the prongs are at the top and the plate is underneath. So like that is how we're going to do it. And you want to start at the root. So you just put it in and clamp it down. I do mine quite close to the root. I didn't used to. I used to start a bit lower down and then you don't get as much volume. So I do it quite close. So once you lift it, you put it down one little bit, if that makes sense. So instead of moving the iron from here down an entire length of the iron, all we're doing is lifting and going down one wave, if that makes sense. So I'll show you all the way down. And you don't need to leave it very long, not as long as a curling iron, I don't find. So lift and then just down one little wave. If you move the iron down too much, you'll get like an inconsistent wave. So it's important that you do it like this. So lift, move it down one and then clamp again. When you get to the bottom, you're better off holding the hair here just so you can do the bottom bit. So if I hold it from the side there, you can see that it's like the perfect wave then so then the bottom one we just want to go so then moving it down one 
and just sort of nip that end. The end is always difficult. You sometimes get a little funny bit because there's not enough hair left to do it. And then that's what it should look like from the side. So you can kind of see if you did it so you like clamped it down and then moved it down too much, you then wouldn't get your consistent wave. So that's why that's important. And once it's done, it's not like curls. You can run your fingers through it a little bit and just sort of fluff it up. You actually want to do that because you don't want it looking too... Um, weird when you just saw it there like a spiral you do just want to uh blend it in a little bit and that's how you actually do the wave so i'm going to do it again with the top and a lot of you will have shorter hair than i do my hair is very very long so i'm going to show you on some of these shorter pieces because your hair may be um more like the length of my actual hair rather than as long as this but i just wanted to show you the actual action of using the iron so we're going to take the bottom section of these two sections that we moved up and as you can see, just where I've teased it a little bit and put the spray, it does give you quite good volume. On that note, I just want to talk to you about the other product that I sometimes use. This might be good for some of you who have finer hair, if your hair is a bit thinner, if it's just a little bit difficult to manage. I tend to use this on the day when I've just washed my hair. Because when I've just washed my hair, it's a lot more like flat. There's not much grip or volume in it. Once I've had it like this for a couple of days, you do get a bit of a build up of dry shampoo and hairspray. And that gives it more texture and it's easier to get the volume in. But when it's just been washed, it's very like floaty and doesn't want to do anything. I use this VO5 Instant Volume Powder Instant Root Boost Matte Finish. You can get some super drug, I'll link it below. I know you can, probably can't see it very well there. Um, and it's just a little pot of powder. I've already got quite a lot of grip going on here. But what I would do with this, if my hair was straight and it had just been washed, I put a little bit under here, just in this front section, and a little bit just like that. You just sprinkle it on and just work it in a little bit. Then a little bit more here, I would sprinkle some in and it just helps to give it a bit of grip and you can get that volume through the front. So that's kind of how I get the volume through the front when it's just been washed. So I just thought I'd mention that because that can help you if your hair is a bit finer and you don't have a lot of volume. So I'm just gonna take my first piece of the hair that needs redoing. That underneath piece didn't really need redoing but I was just showing you on one of the longer pieces. So obviously clamp down at the root. Then we're moving along just one. That's how long you need to leave it, just a few seconds. Move it along another one. Always mind your fingers. I don't use a heat protectant glove because they annoy me, but I do this a lot and I very, very rarely burn myself because I'm used to it. But if you're new to this, I would recommend using a heat protectant glove because you do need to be careful at first until you're used to doing it. So those little end bits can be a bit tricky. You just kind of, I just kind of clamp them in and then there you go from the side, you can see that you've got your wave correct. You'll always be able to tell from the side if it looks like that, that's what it should look like. Then I'm just gonna take the next piece and it's up to you how big a piece that you take. I normally take about this much. So just a, a smallish bit. I find if you do it in smaller pieces, you do get more volume. That's what I find anyway. But yeah, always be careful burning yourself. The other thing that can happen, be very careful when you're doing the sections at the front of your face and like underneath, because it can be very easy to catch your face with the iron. I've done that before as well. So be really, really careful. It's very hot. And like I say, mind your fingers if you're new to this. Just getting a bit closer. So just move it down one little wave. And then once you get to the end like this, you don't want the iron going near your fingers. So let that go and hold it up here. Move it down one. And that's how you do the end bit. And that's it. You can see how good a job it does. Cause you can see this is the bit that I've just brushed out and then it's nice and wavy. I love this waver. I have tried like other ones, like cheaper versions that you see come up on Instagram ads and things like that. But this Beauty Works one, I think I got it on offer and it was about 60 pounds, I think. Once you get used to it and you get a lot quicker with it, it's so much easier. Um, so it doesn't take me very long at all to redo um, the top bit every day. When I'm doing the whole thing and I've just washed it, that is a little bit of a pain because I have a lot of hair. Like this is an awful lot of hair to do this to. If your hair is a bit thinner and you don't have as much or it's not as long, it won't take you as long as it does me. Um, but once it is all done, you saw it at the beginning of this video, that's where I've slept on it and just put it up overnight. So even though it takes longer the first day that I'm doing it, it's really easy every day. I don't have to take too long just to redo the top. 
and I'm taking a little bit more time over it today because I'm showing you guys and talking you through it but so many of you have asked for this video I have literally had requests every single day asking what I use and to show how to use it so hopefully you'll be finding this helpful this is how I do my hair a lot of the time I don't do it every day necessarily but when I'm in Florida I have it like this a lot because I find it doesn't drop in the same way that curls do so if I curl my hair the humidity especially in Florida it will go very flat very quickly this doesn't this just stays as it is it very very rarely goes flat maybe the tiniest bit around the front but I find this stays in really really well so once you've done that little bit just give it a good um shake for want of a better word <laughs> kind of run your fingers through and then you can see it just does that nice um fluffy mermaid thing and you do get that volume then through the top so if your parting was more like middle or just off you would probably have a smaller section here i do like quite a deep part and i find having it this way this front bit then you get a lot of volume which i quite like so I'll just quickly do this bit. I'll probably speed it up or something because you've seen now how to do it and I don't want this to be too, too long. So that is the rest of this top section. I'm not going to worry too much about that yet because I need to redo this bit as well. So I'm just going to kind of leave that um, hanging there. So on this side, um, there's some of this underneath that could probably do with a little redo just this front bit. So I'm going to take the top section on this side, do the same. Do you want a little bit of volume on both sides? Bit of a spray. And then I'm just going to redo a little bit here like i say all the underneath is fine so when you're doing this side you're kind of going down like this when you're doing the other side i'm going to come in from behind same with the prongs on the top and this is where you need to be careful of your face do not let this thing touch your face it will burn instantly if it does so maybe hold it like out if you can but just be really careful and the reason i know that is because i've done it multiple times i don't do it so much anymore but it has happened so obviously you've got your section there, just move it down one little wave. And then just keep going till you get to the end. I've got a bit of a longer bit there. So just, if you have any thin bits like that, don't leave the iron on it too long at all. Just quickly go through and do that. You really don't need to hold it on there for that long of a time. It's actually a lot better than a curling iron in that respect. It's just quick to run down through. Let's just do one other bit here. It varies by day, like some days I wake up, if I've been moving around a lot, I guess, or something, it's a bit flatter and there's more pieces that need redoing. Sometimes there's a few of the underneath bits, but for the most part, it is just the top that I need to redo. And then you can bring your side bit back down, or top bit, I should say. And this bit here, I'll probably do in like three separate pieces. Practice makes perfect with this. So the first time you do it, the first time I ever did it, it didn't look quite right and I was a bit disappointed. I was like, oh, I don't think I've quite done it. Some of it, I'd obviously not moved the iron down properly and it looked a bit funny. It wasn't very uniform and didn't look very good. But once you get used to it, it's really, really easy. It's like anything, you just have to do it a few times. And then just this last front piece. Okay, that's all of it waved. Okay, I've just moved the camera back down a bit now that we don't need to see the top. So once you've got it all waved, this is what you have. And I should have mentioned earlier, when you're doing the whole head, so if it's all straight from the beginning, obviously you take your top layers if you want some volume and do that how I showed you. And when you're trying to get to the underneath bits, you could maybe use a clip just to put the top bits up, do the very underneath first then drop a bit more down, drop a bit more down. So you basically wanna do it from the underneath and then just keep dropping more down and doing it like that. So once you've basically got it all done, it is then a question of just 
putting it how you want it use a bit of hairspray because it will be a bit unruly like I say I slept on this last night so it's probably a bit wild um <laughs> and then you can just spray you don't need loads of spray it's not like when you've curled it and the spray is like necessarily holding these waves in it's more just um keeping it where it should be and like i say i do have quite a deep part here sometimes you would be a bit further over this way just give that a little spray and the hairspray you can kind of lift this bit does help with um volume as well as you can see it is uh very large i feel like my hair at times enters a room before i do but i do like it i love big hair i always have and uh this is a really good way to get big hair using a waver it's really good and you can see here what i was talking about because i've probably had this like this for three days now i only wash it about every five days so there is a lot of grip through the front so i can just kind of go like this and you can see like how much volume is happening here that doesn't necessarily happen the first day when i've just washed it that's what the powder is for that just gives it that bit of extra grip so yeah that's basically it that's how i do my hair i wanted to show you today when i can show you how i just do the top up every day so i wash it wave the whole thing and then for the next four days i will just do the process that i've done today where i only have to do the top then i'll wash again and then start the whole process i don't do this every time i sometimes give my hair a break from any styling and just have it straight but it really suits me especially when i'm in florida because when you've got this much hair trust me you don't want to be washing it too much because washing and drying is a really long process and then if you have to to um, do a full head of like curling or waving on top it is a lengthy process so now I found this method I could do that once and it is a bit of a pain doing it that one time but then I can go like five days and it's easy pretty much to redo so I hope that helped I just wanted to show you in this vlog how to do it so many people have been asking I thought about doing a separate video but I thought I'll just do it in one of my um, kind of home vlogs that I'm doing over on this channel some of you may have come across from Disney in detail because I'll let you know over on my Instagram there that I've done this video if you've got any questions about it please just put them in the comments and I'll put a link in the description to the waiver the 10 in 1 spray and the root powder that I use as well oh and just quickly while we're on the subject of like getting ready and stuff a lot of people have been asking about this lipstick that I'm wearing let me just get a bit closer um, this is my current favourite, I'm obsessed with it. I was really upset when Kat Von D changed, um, the, the whole company changed to KVD. Then the shades changed of the lipstick and everything everything changed. And that was the one that I'd used for years. I've now started using this one, which is the Gwen Stefani. Let me just see if I can focus it, there we go. So it is this one, which is the Gwen Stefani range. And this is in shade Cowgirl, and I absolutely love this. I've also got it in shade um, Original, which is the bright red as well. Um, these are the ones that you see me wearing in my Florida vlogs all the time. It stays on really well, and I actually find them less drying than a lot of the other liquid lipsticks. Some of them make your lips mega, mega dry, um, but this one, I don't find it as much. Like, it is a matte lipstick, so they're always going to do that to some degree. Um, but yeah, really, really like this one, so massive a thumbs up for that as well. I'm not sure how easy it is to get in the UK now I think about it I've only ever bought it in the States so I'll maybe have a look and if it is available in the UK I'll link it um, but definitely you can get it over in Sephora in the US also while I'm just sat here I have to show you this guy I don't think I've actually shown him in the vlogs I got this Pooh Bear he is from the Tokyo Disney store so it's one of the specific Tokyo Disney items look how cute he is it, the lighting is a little bit bright by this window moving back a bit look at him he's got his blankie as well he's like holding on to his blankie i could not resist how cute this little pooh bear was um he's not like the bright colors that you usually see i had to get him he's so cute and fluffy and chonky um i think you can still get him i'll link him below if you can because i know a lot of people will love this it's just his little blankie i can't even cope with how cute he is he's got little like rosy cheeks too good morning it is a new day now and i'm just sat here at my desk doing a bit of editing and just having a coffee in my uh, little joffrey's mug i tried to get another one of these when i went to florida i really wanted another of these thermal mugs this one that i have is the one that keeps drinks hottest for the longest i have some of the corksicle ones which i really like as well but this joffrey's one 
one is really really good but they didn't have another one like it so I couldn't get that and actually when I was going around the parks and I was going the merchandise locations pretty much everywhere because I show it in the videos nowhere seemed to have any of these like thermal coffee mugs they had like the drinking cups like the Starbucks um tall tumblers I guess you would say with a straw there's loads of those um and things like that but no just like coffee cups like thermal ones and I was really confused because I bought loads of the Corksicle ones actually from like the parks and resorts before. And then on our final day, or it was one of our final days, there is a tiny little Corksicle stand um, right by Paddlefish at Disney Springs. It's really small, you could easily miss it. And we went and had a quick look and they actually had quite a few Disney designs in there, but that was the only place that I'd seen them. You couldn't get them anywhere else. And I wanted to show you this one I got. It's so nice, it's a Cinderella one. I think I'll turn the camera around so you can see it a bit better. So this is what it looks like it's pale blue and it says corkscrew on the side you've got the castle there the horse i just love this i think it's so nice you've got the clock it's very very pretty fairy godmother there and the glass slipper and it's one of the um, regular corksicle lids, the clear ones on there. I have an Epcot one like this and also a 50th anniversary one that I got last time I was there with Catherine. And like I say, I bought those in the parks, but they just didn't have any this time. But I really, really loved this one. I have to drink my coffee out of those type of mugs. If I just use a regular mug, I don't drink it fast enough and it goes cold. So I always use these even at home. They're not just for on the go. Um, I just can't drink anything quick enough and uh, then it goes cold. So I need lots of these mugs because I drink so much coffee every day. And this is the other one that I got. This is to have water, though not hot drinks. And I absolutely love it. It is a Starbucks one. It's got the logo on the back there. And I just love it. It's the macaron range that they have. You can see the little macarons on there, but it's mainly just the color. I really, really love this. And I love these massive ones to put my water in. This one wasn't as pricey as some of the other Starbucks ones. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was maybe around 30. Some of them are like 50 bucks, which is really pricey, but this one wasn't quite as bad with my annual pass discount. And I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I just wanted to do a little catch up now I'm at home. Um, I really wanted to show you the tutorial for my hair because I have been getting questions, so many questions about that especially while I was in Florida so I thought that was a good time to show you that in this vlog and I've got more travel coming up like I was saying I've got a couple of UK things I'm going to be going to Italy which I've been planning and then I'll be back in Florida in May so there's tons coming up and like I said when I go in May I'll be doing more videos for this channel as well as my Disney one with different kind of restaurants off-site restaurants um, I'm probably going to do a shopping at Walmart video the same as the Target one because you guys always seem to like those so plenty coming on this channel and I just want to say thank you to you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this video whether you've been watching this channel for a long time whether you're new here and you've just subscribed if you have then welcome and there's going to be lots coming up so thank you to you all for being here as always and um, if you do want to check out my Disney vlogs I will link that channel below as well don't forget to use the code or the link in the description to get your 60% off your first HelloFresh box it's a great offer I really enjoy it and it's been really good for me being healthier like I was saying so be sure to try that out I hope you guys are having a great day I hope you're well and I'll see you for another vlog very very soon bye